What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ back with another Destiny video and in today's video I'm going to give you more details on what in my opinion is the best looting or farming spot after patch now I did post a video on this a couple of days back and a lot of people actually love this and uh, may I just state as well this actual original location was first uploaded by a guy to YouTube called Take Away do be sure to check out his channel and show him some love. He's the original finder of this actual looting location, so he does deserve a lot of credit for this. On my original video, I didn't know this, and um, it was actually this location was actually shown to me by a friend. I didn't actually know he was the original founder but now I do and now I'm giving him credit where credit is definitely due so be sure to check him out his channel is linked at the top of that video description also before I start can I just state if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy this daily lesson and content make sure you subscribe and if you could help me out for a like I do appreciate the support now this actual location is on earth Cosmodrone and um, if I was you I would say use definitely use a marksman rifle or a very accurate um, auto rifle if you've got an actual sniper as well, they do come in handy and a rocket launcher too. But as long as you've got a decent primary weapon, which is pretty accurate and powerful, you should be fine. Now when we actually load into this actual spot, I will show you guys the exact route and what in my opinion is the best thing to do once you get to this actual location. And also, you can do this by yourself, but in my opinion it works much better if you're going a fire team of two or three um, doing it in two is very easy doing it on three makes it even easier doing it by yourself can get a bit well, pretty hard because can get pretty hard so as these uh, enemies do scatter when they come out of these caves now you want to spawn on Cosmodrome you want to go right probably best to summon your vehicle and you want to follow my exact route Trying to avoid all enemies from shooting up your vehicle and fucking blowing it up. I just want to go through here, go left through this room, left again, avoid the hole in the floor, come around here, around here, and just go straight through. Try and avoid all these um, enemies. Wow, there's a shitload that spawned there. Um, then go right, then go straight through this room, go around here. And straight down here, I could be a taxi driver in my directions. And you just want to fly straight over here, forget all these enemies, don't even bother with them. Just keep going, run any bitch over that gets in your way. Pop, get out of my way, motherfuckers! You want to go, go around this corner here to your left. Try and avoid them actual stairs and railings, and you want to go around here. It normally loads here for me, all the time, don't know why. Oh shit. You just want to go around here, and this is the actual spot. Now, before you start, you want to take out all enemies. And it's probably best to take out all enemies while on this roof up here, which I'll take you guys to here, because it will stop them spawning if you're on this roof, and you can just get your bearings of the spot. Let's drop out this knight. This knight is actually the hardest dude to... No, actually, it ain't a knight. It's a servitor over here. Are all enemies dead? Yes, all enemies are dead. Now, if, this is t if you're by yourself, I would suggest standing on this spot. But if you're in a team of two, I suggest you guys go up here. Both one shoots right, one shoots left, or one shoots dead on, one shoots left. And um, if things get a little bit sticky, you can both shoot in both directions. Now, if you do stand on this spot, they will spawn it's dead ahead. And once you've killed them all, see the, the thing is about this as well, the knight goes around here, and he does this a lot. Did he die? No, he didn't die. But if you shoot them as soon as they come out, you will kill them all. And then they will spawn to your left. There you go. And this is normally say why I say you use a rocket launcher. See, and, and you can see what I mean by about how it can get a little bit uh, sticky if you're by yourself. But if you've got a powerful enough gun, you can actually control these. And it can be pretty easy. If you are in a team of three, shall I say as well, two of you be up here and one person be on that platform whilst just standing on. Just in case one servitor or knight does get behind this thing, you can quickly jump off this onto there and just drop him. Simple as that. Also, guys, if you guys want to earn maximum glimmer, make sure you apply them ether seeds and black wax idols. I mean, you will get a shitload of glimmer from this location as well, especially if you farm for about an hour. You'll get a shit ton. 
And this is actually, in my opinion, a real good spot. I mean, if they didn't patch the actual drop rate, this would be better, in my opinion, than the original treasure cave that was on Cosmodrome. This is a real good spot, and a lot of enemies spawn here pretty quick. I mean, you've got three to the left, and I think you've got four to the right, so that's seven altogether. And I think it only had six on the Cosmodrome, and the original looting farming location. So this, in my opinion, would have been a better spot if the actual drop rate would have been better. And we've got another kid here. He's probably going to come and fuck it up for me, but still, I'm just going to show you guys... Um, well there you go, he ain't fucking up for me, he's getting me greens which I love him for but yeah, this in my opinion is a real great spot and I'll show you guys uh, an actual a video of me actually doing this for an hour yesterday I won't show you the whole video but I'll show you guys my actual results from an hour and I did get a quite a good actual turn out of engrams I mean, I got like, I got quite a few you can see on the screen and um I actually only got one legendary within about 45 minutes to an hour doing it, but a sure friend of mine, Easy now 1337 also uploaded this video. Got three legendaries in the space of like 15 minutes, and my other buddy you could probably see in the video, um, got like a, I think he got like two legendaries and he got a shitload of blues, so it's just crazy. I mean, obviously we all know the, ran the drops are random, completely random in this game, so one time you'll come here for an hour and probably just get 10 blues, the next time you'll come here for an hour and probably get three legendaries, and that's just the way this game works. Now like I said, in my opinion, the best class to use would probably be a marksman or a very accurate, powerful auto rifle. Use a sniper and use a rocket launcher. But guys, hope you enjoyed this spot. Hope this helps you out even more. Because I know the first video I uploaded, uh, a lot of people were confused by it. So I do hope this helps you out. And don't forget, check out Takeaway, who was the original founder of this actual location. And his channel is linked at the top of that video description. Check him out, show him some love, and tell him how I sent you. But anyway, guys, thanks as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And pa -pa 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 peace out until next time. Peace.